Hello and welcome to Someca Gym Financial Model Template. This tool mainly displays you the analysis of the gym you are going to establish based on your assumptions. It is constructed by four parts. These are the dashboard, the revenue model inputs, the cost inputs and the report outputs. So let's start with the dashboard. In the dashboard, type your membership plans and its details in this section. So as an example, let's say we decided to launch a membership plan of the 12 month version of this membership, which the duration is 12 months. Once you complete, type in the group classes that you're going to provide, which can only be joined by the punch card that you're going to sell. So let's say Zumba for 60 minutes, $40. Later on, set the model configuration according to your preferences. The projection period can be adjusted from 2 years to 10 years. In this case, let's make it 5 years. Define your start date, your currency and your discounting rate. The discounting rate will be used in the NPV and IRR calculation to be able to find the net present value of the project. Adjust the tax rate and once you read all the instructions in every sheet you may hide them by switching this from show to hide. Now let's start with the revenue model inputs. Select your membership type from the drop down menu and type in your assumptions for each month. So let's say you think that there won't be any popular demand to this membership plan. So your assumption is that there is going to be additionally one people for every month till August 2022 and let's say from the September 2022 to end of your projection period which is December 2023 there are going to be two additional people in each month. Please press plus sign to get additional rows. You can apply this procedure for any table which there is a plus sign right next to a table. Please only input your data into the white cells. The grey cells in this template are set to give you the output of your assumptions you input into the white cells. So let's carry on with the output tables. So this table gives the cumulative sum of people whose contracts will be determined on a monthly basis. All the tables in here, starting from this table, are for informative purposes and shouldn't be changed. This table in here shows the number of contracts for members to continue to their memberships on a monthly basis. This table shows the number of members who are willing to continue and renew their contracts depending on the renewal rates you determine on the dashboard. This table on here shows the number of members who ended their standard contract and continuing with the monthly rolling renewal. This table in here shows the number of members who ended their standard contract and dropping the monthly rolling renewal. This table in here shows the numbers of members who are on a periodic renewal schedule. This table in here shows the numbers of uh, number of members who ended their fixed 
or off-peak contract and has to renew their contract. This table in here shows the number of members who ended their fixed or off-peak contract and renewed their contract depending on the renewal rate. This table in here shows the number of lost members on a monthly basis. And this table in here shows the number of active members on a monthly basis. In this table, you can set the price increase of the membership types with its period type. Change it according to your preferences, if it's going to be annually, semi-annually, quarterly or monthly. Let's say we're going to increase semi-annually and it is going to be 2% for each term we determine. In this case, it is semi-annually. The tables are dynamic. Once you set it, it is going to change with the values you choose. And this table in here shows the price increase of the base initiation fee for each month with the terms you determine. And finally, these two tables shows the revenue generated by memberships and initiation fee which also includes the price evolution you set on the previous table. Now we may carry on with the classes. Select the group classes from the drop down menu which you input in the dashboard and write down your assumptions for each month. So let's say you're expecting the exact number with a cardio. Input the punch card type and the base price for each punch card type you have. With the amount of punch card you think you will be able to sell in each month. This table, like in the previous one, sets the term and the price increase. Let's say we make this semi annually and 3%. This table shows you the revenue generated by punch cards for each month. Trainers get paid for the classes they give in the group sessions and you input the trainer fee per hour for every class in the dashboard already. This table sets the term and the fee increase of the trainers and shows us how much to pay for each class per hour and how much to pay to trainers in each month according to the price increase we set. Let's say we decided to set the term semi-annually and let's make this 0.5%. Now we may carry on with extra sales. This is the place where you can list your extra income. Input the item, price and the variable cost if there is any and sales per month based on your assumptions. So let's say sports water. The base price is $2 and let's say that we're getting it from $1. So the variable cost in this case is 50% and let's say we're going to sell 150 bottles per month. After that, the structure of the template is the same with the previous tabs. Set the price evolution for extra income. The tables will show you the price evolution and extra income revenue depending on the rate and term you determine above. And finally, the last table shows the cost of extra sales for each period. Now we can carry on with the cost inputs. So let's start with the fixed costs. The only two tables you have to set is the first two. The first shows the salaries and amount of employees to work in that title for each month. 
So let's say we decided to get a professional fitness advisor on August 2019 and only one and let's say the salary is going to be 2500 and we're going to keep him till the end of our projection period later on input your other monthly expenses like rent utilities insurance and so on Type down their expenses for each month. Set the salary evolution to determine the cost of salary for each employee and the total salaries to be paid for each title. So let's say we decided to give them raise semi-annually and 1%. Now we can carry on with the startup costs. Startup costs are the expenses which are made prior to start your sales. So type down each startup cost you had to build up this scheme. Once you're done with this section, now we may see the results of the inputs in the report outputs. The reports are also dynamic according to the value you choose and the projection period on the dashboard. So let's start with the financial statements. Financial statements show the income statement, the balance sheet and the cash flow statement of your project. When you hit the profits, because of the change of inputs, you need, to, you need to update the reports. Click on the Update Reports button to be able to update all the pivot tables. So the Profits section shows you your income statement through the years by adding depreciation and amortization in the end. You may press to minus signs to only see the conclusion for each year in each pivot table in the report outputs. The break-even analysis shows the cumulative profit from the beginning to the end of your projection period with the main data below. The net revenue report shows you all of your net income generated by all of your income sources in quarterly periods. Sales breakdown breaks down all of your income resources into their quantity, price and their revenue in quarterly periods. Subscription breakdown shows you the subscription status of new, lost and retained members for each period. NPV IRR calculator shows you the cumulative discounted cash flow chart with the net present value and internal rate of return of your project. The gross profit report shows you your revenue lines gross profit and gross profit percentage. Gross profit breakdown shows you the net profit of each quarter segmented by the business lines. And lastly, the data source is shows you the data all the data you input to be able to see the outputs. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check our other templates at www.someka.net.